Heavy hearts tonight across Lexington as folks in the community and Fayette County School District remember Superintendent Manny Kalk. A memorial has been growing for Kalk outside of the old central office building on Main Street. You can see flowers there and messages written in chalk. Kalk died unexpe unexpectedly yesterday. He was 49 years old and tonight our Grace Feinerman shares how he's being remembered first on Fox. Even with the rain, it cannot dampen the spirit of having students in our classrooms. Father, husband, and superintendent of Fayette County Public Schools, Manny Kalk leaves behind an illustrious career. He joined Fayette County Public Schools in August of 2015. Before that, he served as the superintendent of Portland Public Schools, Maine's largest school district. In the fall of 2018, the Kentucky Association for School Administrators named him 2019 Superintendent of the Year. Kalk also led the way during the tumultuous and unprecedented 2020 when students had to take their studies virtual. I interviewed him in October when certain students were able to head back into the building for targeted instruction. His passion for education and kids was clear. Students are still engaged, still excited, and most importantly, still have a smile on her face. A death that was sudden, and as many Board of Education members say, shocking. November 30th, Kolk was granted a temporary medical leave, with Dr. Marlene Helm taking over his responsibilities. Back in 2015, he underwent an 18-hour-long surgery to remove a malignant tumor from his sinus cavity. You know, Manny was young. Um, it's especially sad to lose him at such a young age. Mayor Linda Gorton's among those sharing their condolences. He cared very much about closing that achievement gap and about making sure that uh, children were educated so families could progress forward. Board members say the district will support each other as they deal with this shock and continue their work helping our children. In Lexington, Grace Feinerman for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Kalk is survived by his wife and children. Funeral arrangements have not yet been announced.